Last year, we decided to remove areas of our lawn to make room for a garden. The lawn area was difficult to mow and never seemed to grow without lots of care. The first step was creating a list of goals of what we wanted from our garden. A list of some of our goals were, the garden had to be easier to maintain than the previous lawn, require few inputs such as water, compost, fertilizer, and mulch. The plants must be adapted to the conditions we have. Do not fight the site was our mantra. Incorporate as many native species as possible to enhance the biodiversity and create food and habitat for our local wildlife. We decided to use bark mulch the first season to help our new plants become established. Our hope is that carefully placed plants will eventually form a living mulch, filling any gaps of exposed soil. This will help in our goal of relying less on outside inputs. Spotted bee balm is one of my favorite plants and I thought it would be a great addition to our new garden. Spotted bee balm is a plant that is native to our region in New England and does well in poor soil conditions, in full sun. Be sure to leave the seed heads on as a food source for birds during the winter months. In ideal conditions, seeds overlooked by birds will germinate, filling in any gaps you have in the garden. This can be an asset since spotted bee balm is a short-lived perennial. There are many different species of milkweed you can choose for your garden. Butterflyweed is a species of milkweed that would tolerate our poor garden soil as well as drought. Its bright orange flowers attracts many types of pollinating insects. Milkweed is the only host species for the monarch butterfly caterpillar. The monarch butterfly has declined by over 80% in North America, mostly due to habitat loss. By planting milkweed in our garden, we hope to bring a little habitat back for this species. Out of all the herbaceous perennials you could choose for your garden, goldenrod is probably the most beneficial to our local wildlife. There is a species of goldenrod for almost any New England garden. The blue stem goldenrod would be a beautiful addition to the shaded woodland garden. Many of the species of goldenrod are deer and drought tolerant. Contrary to popular garden folklore, goldenrod does not cause hay fever. We are looking forward to watching our new garden grow. Already we have had some failures and we are trying to learn from our mistakes. I feel what is so special about gardening is relationship. The relationship of us shaping the garden into being. And if we allow ourselves to pause amongst our busy labor, we can take notice of how the garden shapes us.